With your forecast update from the National Weather Service office in Phoenix, I'm meteorologist Jared Heil. We're starting out mainly discussing just the excessive heat that's going to be in store. These are the excessive heat watches encompassing areas like Phoenix, Yuma, El Centro, uh, Blythe, Tucson, even up toward Las Vegas and well uh, deep into California. Uh, even locations like the lower elevations of the Grand Canyon along the Colorado River under an excessive heat watch. So a lot of locations impacted by what is going to be a pretty major heat event for us later on this week and through the weekend. So as of now, here's the setup. What we have for you is a ridge of high pressure that's going to build across the southwest. That will allow for quite a bit of sunshine and temperatures that will soar over 110 degrees across the lower deserts from Thursday through Monday, uh, maybe even um, Wednesday reaching 110 in Phoenix. And by the weekend, low temperatures here in the valley will be in the low to mid 80s. That puts us in that uh, high or very high heat risk. So some things to keep in mind, stay hydrated, drink lots of water through this heat. If you can, stay inside. If you have to be outdoors, take breaks in the shade and find some air conditioning from time to time, if at all possible. And of course, look before you lock and check the back seat for children and pets. It gets hot in these cars very, very quickly here in the desert southwest. Just some context here. These were the high temperatures today across our area. 105 officially in Phoenix. Uh, many areas were over 100 degrees, and this is just a sample of what is to come. The trends over the next several days to come. This is Wednesday through Sunday. As you can see, the numbers uh, ranging anywhere from 104 on the highest day Saturday. By the way, the hottest temperatures appear to be coming Saturday and or Sunday with this particular heat wave. 114 in Phoenix by Saturday, same in Yuma, 117 in Blythe by Saturday. That's our current forecast. So here is the heat risk. Um, you can see the reds growing in size and eventually the purple showing up. That's the high and very high heat risk. And when that shows up, we get very concerned about the impacts of excessive heat for more of the population. And that's why the excessive heat watch has been issued. Our weather risk outlook also uh, encompassing parts of uh, Gila County for perhaps some isolated dry lightning strikes as we head toward Thursday and Friday. That's a concern because we are in our peak wildfire season. We'll be keeping an eye on that very closely. And if this heat weren't enough, much of the southern half of the nation is still targeted by the CPC in week two for above normal temps. But you can also see still perhaps a little bit of the monsoon moisture trying to creep into southeast Arizona in the week two time frame. So let's maybe hope for that too. In the meantime, stay safe, stay cool out there, everybody, from all of us here at the National Weather Service office in Phoenix.